What can these planes do that radar and satellites can't? Uh, Linda, they get very close and very precise readings on things like pressure, temperature, humidity, and wind direction. And today they got new data flying around and above the storm. Take a look at the video here from our Fox photographer, Phil Selly. We're aboard a Gulfstream jet, affectionately known as Gonzo, based at the NOAA facility at Lakeland Linder Regional Airport. Now they took off very early this morning. They flew to the hurricane and then overtop the storm at 43 to 45,000 feet. They dropped dozens of sensors out of the plane and into the storm. Those sensors have about a 15 minute fall down through the storm. They send back data to meteorologists on board the plane in real time. Once they're satisfied, it's good data. We put it in a format message that we send off to National Hurricane Center, and then it goes directly into the models to increase the accuracy there. Take a look here. This is the route the NOAA Hurricane Hunter took today. It's overlaid here with Hurricane Florence. You can see more than 30 points on here where they dropped those sensors to get the real time readings. That data immediately plugged into the models to fine tune the forecast track. And keep in mind, it's not just NOAA, but also Air Force flying Hurricane Hunters into Florence. It can be a bumpy ride, but it is the best way to gather the data they need for the forecast.